we are two weeks into the refurb, so I'm going to show you around what's happened this week. Now, there is, there's certain parts of the refurb that look a lot, like a, a lot has happened. So, the beginning, when things are taken down, walls are moved, walls are built, all that sort of stuff looks very impressive. The middle bit, when all the like plumbing and electrics goes in, it kind of, it's just cables and stuff, so it looks like not a lot has happened. And then the end bit, when you kind of like decorate and make it look homely, those two bits look very impressive. So, we're at the one of the impressive stages, so I'll show you around. This bit is the flat, so if you remember there was a lift here, the lift has come out and this has been blocked up um, and that bit over there was like a corridor into the bedroom that's also been blocked up because this is making the flat. This bit where we're standing here um, will also be blocked up eventually. Um, so yes, we are currently standing in the utility area and that will be the bathroom of the flat come through to here so i'm now stood in what will be the kind of kitchen dining lounge space so if you remember that was the bathroom over there this where i'm stood was the office and we're going to make a window over there this will be the front door and then another window over here and this wall will be moving that way a little bit so if you come through we've got stills up above yeah all the stills are going in and then this will be the bedroom so this whole chimney is coming out so obviously that's why there's like a lot of stills going up there um so this whole wall comes down and moves this way because obviously you don't need a bedroom this big um, and it's better to give more space to the living area um, over there. So, yeah, so that's pretty much the flat. Um, so we'll go through here, and we can still obviously get through this bit at the moment, but this will get blocked off. So this doorway here will eventually be blocked, and this is the communal space for HMO1. So it was the um, dining and kitchen space for the owner's quarters um, of, the, of the hotel. Um, but yeah, so this will um, change and that is what has been opened up. So that obviously before was a wall, it was all blocked off, but this entrance has been made. So now, if you imagine that will get blocked and that will be the way in and out, now we're in HMO1. So, you come through here, so I'll probably start there and come back because there's more to talk about over here. But as I said before, none of these bedrooms are really changing apart from this one. So this will become a bedroom. It's currently the um well it was the dining space at the hotel. So this doorway has been made in and then this will be someone's bedroom and obviously that opening over there will be blocked off. So it's one room. Yeah. And so that door in there, in fact, we'll probably go through this bit because this was to the kitchen, but it now, so if you imagine this was the big commercial kitchen with the lift here, it's obviously all come out and now this will turn into an ensuite there, an ensuite here, and a corridor for that bedroom. So that bedroom, it, their ensuite will be like an off suite if you see what I mean because they have to come out of their room and into here but we just came out of the kitchen there so this is this is, is, is like big um like a lot of work is happening here so we always try and have an off suite room um well one of the main reasons is that if anyone's like bathroom facilities break then this one can kind of service everyone temporarily. Obviously, if this one breaks, then we're in trouble. But um, this is kind of like a, yeah, if mm -hmm. it all goes wrong, Look. then we've got a, a bathroom that everyone can access. And there's the elevator door. Yeah, that's the cavity. And that's yeah, if you, if you imagine up we there. just came out the kitchen here, and so this will then go down into that bedroom. Because if, if you imagine that that bedroom before, the door goes out into what will then be blocked off because of the flat. So that door has to be blocked off and then obviously we need a 
doorway into that bedroom. So here is the cor corridor, the two ensuite, and then this little bit is our little clever laundry room because you can see like this is quite a big space to do two en suites and actually you don't need such a big space so get rid of two of the big appliances out of the kitchen put them in here use this space and then like all the laundries and you know being noisy and whatever when someone's trying to watch tv um so yeah so we'll just go into this um bedroom here like I say, we'll now be walking through the corridor and then this is one of the big bedrooms because it was the dining room and um, so it's got the lovely bay window um, and yeah, so I'm not sure if you're following but now if you, we can still currently do a, a circle so if you come through here, this is obviously where we just started off the video but obviously that will then change um, and this will be blocked off because you won't be able to get into HMO1 from this entrance. Okay, so I've jumped back out into HMO1's corridor. So obviously we've just been all in that area and, and behind you. But then these are the three remaining bedrooms, um, which at the moment they're locked. But this will then become the front door. Um, so that's how you will come into HMO1. So now cut to upstairs? Now cut to upstairs. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go up into HMO2 now, but um, as you can see, like this is the, the RSJs, all the steels and stuff that have gone in to hold the fireplace that I showed you in the flat. So that's what's happened here. So, so this is, well this will be HMO2 and eventually HMO3, but for the time being, it's gonna be part of HMO2. So what's happened up here? Again, nothing is happening in those bedrooms. We're just decorating them and nothing cosmetic or structural is happening. Um, obviously, the lift has come out, but the door is still there at the moment. Um, but what has happened up here is this, um, which is the kitchen and lounge area. So this doorway will be blocked off, because um, obviously when it eventually becomes two HMOs up here, we're gonna need to have a front door for this um, HMO and a front door for that one, and obviously this is this would then be accessible to everyone. So this gets blocked off. And everyone will then come through into the kitchen and lounge through here. So this is the kitchen area. And then that won't have a door on it. So it's kind of two separate rooms, but it's kind of not because it doesn't have any way to close the door. Um, also we close off from the two, but that will be the lounge and dining space um, up here. It's a bit dodgy at the moment because there's like holes in the floor and things. Um. But yeah, so that is what's happened this these last two weeks. So everything's been ripped out, um, things that we don't need gotten rid of, um, and then yeah, all the kind of structural stuff is, is happening. Okay, so Ollie asked me to also explain a bit more about um, HMO3 and HMO2 sort of walk around a little bit. So, as I've just said, eventually these two bedrooms will be part of HMO3. So you will kind of come up the stairs here and somewhere around here there'll be like a, a doorway, a front door into HMO3. So HMO3 is made up of this room. So this room, which is like the same as the one downstairs, like a um, yeah, like a really big room, um, would be really nice for someone actually. It's huge. Um, Eventually, be a kitchen, won't it? No, this one won't be. Although on the plans, you're right, it does say a kitchen, but it's, we're going to change that round slightly just because. I think it'd be nicer because, sorry, with HMO3, eventually there'll be a lounge upstairs. So upstairs will be four bedrooms and a lounge. So to give such a massive kitchen is kind of unnecessary um, because they've already got quite a lot of space, um, like communal space. So it'd be better to give someone a bigger bedroom and then that person can have a really luxurious bedroom and then use this bedroom um, as the kitchen. 
because as you can see this bedroom is quite a lot smaller and it's in fact it's one of the smallest bedrooms um so when we take this out which is the the ensuite um then actually this this room is ample for what we need it for for a kitchen you can get enough um units and all that sort of stuff and a dining space in here and it's perfect um and then like i said it'd better be better to give someone that bedroom versus this bedroom you know someone would enjoy that bedroom much more um but for the time being it stays as a bedroom um, and becomes part of hmo2 um but yeah so obviously this stays in at the moment Lights on. Right, so when HMO3 happens, the, the stairways will come up here. So obviously, it's quite nice and light in here at the moment, but obviously, eventually, it would, you know, this will have a wall come up, and um, so you get the light in this one. But that that lobby would be quite dark because there's no natural light. But you know, it is what it is, really. Um, so eventually there'll be like a wall across here and a front door into the kind of lobby for HMO2. Now obviously there's no electricity apart from weirdly in that room. Um, it's a bit difficult to see in some of these rooms at the moment. But this is the first bedroom. So it's a decent size. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can really see the bathrooms because there's no light, but... Should be a garden. Right outside. Now that we're getting, when we get rid of that one, I think this is then the smallest room um, because it's kind of like long and narrow. So we're a bit, I mean, in most of the rooms, we're kind of spoilt for space really and spoilt for choice of where we put things. In this one, I mean, I think we worked out we can only really put the bed there. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the, the smallest one. Um, but you know, it's still not a bad size. This is the plant room. I don't know if we showed you this before, but this is where all of the... I don't think we've had electricity. No. Yeah, so... Let's see yeah, so it's just basically where all the... Um, the boiler and the water tank and everything. This is the fire exit for this um, HMO. That's a nice little... thing. I mean, I... I they can also go out to the garden that way, so it's kind of like the back door. Um, this is one of the big bedrooms, so it's really nice. Um, we plan to do, I, can't, I can not remember what I've said before in the video, but we plan to do kind of like walk-in wardrobe sort of spaces um, in the big rooms where we've, where we've got the ability to. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think that's quite a nice feature really. I mean, who doesn't want to walk in wardrobe? I would love to walk in wardrobe. <laughs> so then this one is kind of like the flip of that one. So it's like similar size and we'll do, I mean, basically we're copying this room and that room. Just, yeah, mirror image. I think, from memory, we're able to put like a small sofa in here as well. So I think it's kind of like the bed over here then we've got like a desk area and then where the camera is right now is kind of like a sofa area with the TV kind of over there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like like a studio room. So although there's no kitchen facilities or anything in it, because we've got so much space, it's kind of like a little flat and then obviously you'd have to use the, the kitchen. But yeah, it'd be so nice to have so much space and available. So this is... Um, this is a good size room. However, obviously, because because of it still functioning as an H, sorry, as a as a guest house, 
there's been certain rooms that I haven't been able to get into and this was one of them because there was still a guest here till right like right up the very last minute um and so I designed this on my kind of plan system but since I've then come in here and realized I mean I'd put like the wardrobe over there not realizing that there is a window so I might have to change that might might not but we we'll have to see whether the plan still works with the window there. Um, if not, we'll have to change it around a little bit. Um, the other thing I don't know if we've mentioned is that, obviously because we are right on the main road here and it's a really busy road. I mean, literally there's always cars coming and going out of this and going past. It goes straight into Hawley, off to sort of um, Gatwick in the motorway that way um, and down to the station that way. So it's a really busy road. But because it's in a conservation area, we have to have timber timber windows um, so to kind of mitigate that the owner put in this secondary glazing which normally is a bit you know normally secondary glazing isn't that good but bear in mind it's so busy I mean this secondary glazing isn't even closed once you close it you can barely I mean you can here but you can barely hear the road outside so yeah all of that stuff we don't have to do because he's done it and and the the owner kept this place really well so when he did stuff he did it well he didn't just bodge stuff or anything um so yes this is a good little feature really and then the last bedroom in this hmo is this one i kind of like this one because i think it's quite sort of cozy it kind of reminds me of like a little cottagey kind of room with a little window and so yeah so now now we're able to have full access I'm you know I'm gonna bring my plans and just check that what I've designed in terms of like furniture positions and all that sort of stuff fits because like radiators if there's a radiator where I haven't realized or in a different place to what I thought it was whatever then you know um, I obviously need to change things like that but um the good thing is because it was a hotel the the hotel obviously had a website so when i was doing all the plans there's quite a lot of rooms that i could just find the pictures of and so yeah a lot of it i really knew apart from that one about the window like i said um but yeah so that's where we're at and yeah we will see you again in two weeks thanks very much bye <laughs>